Welcome back again and this time we're gonna try the place called the Southwest Tavern. It is a cowboy themed restaurant come bar. I'm in the mood for some great beer food. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kumaran from Full Vibrations. Let's feast. You can find Southwest Tavern at Trade Hub 21 which is at Boon Lay Way. Trade Hub 21 is a high-end industrial park of sorts and uh, it is really accessible and, then, and has plenty of parking spaces. We are at the Southwest Tavern and it has a very interesting atmosphere. We love the furniture and the lighting. Even though we came at 2pm, you can imagine what it looks at night. And I think it will make a great beer drinking atmosphere. We have four dishes here and I can't wait to try them. They look amazing. We got the beer bud chicken, the blooming onion, the suicide wings and a sirloin steak. And here we have the beer bud chicken. It's a full chicken made to sit on a can of beer and smoke patiently for one entire hour. You can see the fat dripping. And this is going to be amazing. I'm going to go for the wings first. Oh, the skin is really crispy. I can't help but salivate at the chicken. It's making me really, really hungry. I'm going to give this a shot. Mm. Oh, wow! This is so good. The chicken is really juicy and tender and sweet. And the skin is really crispy. It's oh my god, like it's it's perfect. It's not like fried crispy, but this crispiness is uh, it has melted the fat into the flesh of the chicken. And there's this peppery aftertaste. This is good beer food. We're gonna carve the chicken and show you guys what's it like inside. Okay. Jacqueline has carved the chicken and I'm gonna try one of the uh, chicken pieces from from, uh, which is closer to the beer can. Much softer. Mm, very, uh, a, a lot more juicier. And has a more stronger taste of beer. Good stuff. Here we have the blooming onion, which is onions fried in a light batter and served with the ranch sauce. And it looks like a beautiful lotus. Let's dip it in the ranch sauce. Okay, here goes. The onion is sweet. And the batter is very light. Not greasy. It's just the right amount of coat and onions. Doesn't overpower. The ranch sauce is amazing. It has this salty and sour taste. Once again, another good selection for beer food. I'm gonna try this without the ranch sauce this time. The batter is really good. It's very light, very crispy, very simple. And that complements the onions a lot and it has this buttery uh, after the days which works amazing with the onions and here we have the medium celery steak and I haven't had beef in such a long time this is gonna be a treat for me oh look at that I have no strength 
so I might not cut it elegantly. Okay. Oh god. The beef is extremely juicy and with your first bite it just explodes with that flavor and the beef juices so you can taste the beef fats. It's well, it's very well marinated and definitely fresh. One of the best steaks I've had. You can see the marinade on the beef. It's like black pepper and some other spice. It's not a very complex marinade, marinade but it brings out whatever they're using, they're using brings out the flavor of the beef really 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 well. I'm gonna try another bite with the sauce. This is mushroom sauce. It's heavenly. With every bite, as the juices are released, it mixes with this mushroom it's just not mushroom sauce, but I but definitely there's beef broth in it. It's very savory. It's, it's really delicious. And when the get the when you get the beef fats mixed into it, into it, and the texture of the beef, oh god, that is amazing. This combination of the beef and the mushroom sauce. It's very addictive, I can't stop. I can't help myself. I just have to have more. Whoa. We're really, really enjoying this. And here we have the suicide wings. I think they named it for a reason because you can see this thing is reddish. Like not, it's not like a sauce. It's like it's more of a paste, and it has the chili seeds all over. This is gonna be a test for my taste buds. I hope I can handle this. Wish me luck. I hope I don't end up in the hospital. Okay, let's take it apart first. Another bite because we realize that the bottom part of the chicken has a sweeter taste. It's really sweet. I think that together with the that actually makes it even more spicy, but the sweetness even more sweeter. There's this weird contrast. It's good if you can bear with the chili because the sweetness and spiciness and the taste of the chicken works really well. But it burns, it burns bad. We found out that the suicide wings have a spice level of somewhere the 16 or and below, but they have the spaghetti from Hell Challenge, which is level 18. If we can't take this, that is... I don't know. There are people who have done it, but I don't think we can. That was such a fulfilling feast. We'd like to thank Mr. Andrew, the boss, for giving us these recommendations. We definitely enjoyed it. Although the suicide wings are killing us in our bellies and our uh, mouths, it is an unforgettable experience. Southwest Tavern is a great place for cold beer, good food, and great company. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Till then, good vibrations from Food Vibrations.
Okay, not too bad yet.